this is a Lenovo laptop 14 inch one and recently the Windows is not working so we're gonna double check the model number which is that one it's very difficult to read it's called Lenovo V14 Lenovo V14 G2 LTL I think most probably so today we're gonna reinstall the windows in it that's the machine whenever we turn on it comes up like that let's check check media okay when it comes check media there is something wrong So if you have this sort of problem means your system is gone so what you need to do we need to get into BIOS change the settings into correct way to enable USB boot and also we should have Windows 10 or 11 UEFI thumb drive you can install both UEFI or legacy doesn't matter and also you should have one of the SIM ejector tool like paperclip okay and also your charger needs to be ready so first thing is first Make sure you connect your bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive into the USB port. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. The video link would be in the description so you can create your USB, bootable USB correctly, okay? And then switch it off. All right, so now, Lenovo always make things easy and simple from my point of view. So normally to get into BIOS, we need to press F1, F2, sometimes F10. It depends on which brand of laptop. But Lenovo make things simple. Instead of making functional key, what they done? On the right and left hand side, they kept a hidden button, which is inside the laptop. You can get access with it. So while it's switched off, what you need to do, you need to, if you can look at it, there is a little hole. So once you click here you can see the light is flashing at the same time you're gonna get Nobu button menu so that button is called Nobu button once you see that you need to go down to BIOS settings which is the middle option and hit enter once you hit enter you're gonna find like this here is the model number we can see it's called V14 G2ITM so from the information section you're not gonna get anything instead press the right arrow and then go back to here and don't forget to connect the charger okay and from here we need to check if there is any settings all right now if you would like to reinstall the windows you need to do one thing first that is you need to go into VMD controller BMD controller has to be disabled. Why? As you can see, it says enable disable to Intel VMD controller. Enable Intel VMD controller is enabled. When it's enabled, you're not going to be able to see the actual internal drive. So what are you going to do? We're going to hit enter and we're going to disable it. Good. Once this is done, then we're going to jump into the security section, which is right there. And from here, we need to turn on secure boot if you would like to install in uefi format you need to turn on the secure boot first thing and then pretty much that's all rest everything should be fine we need to go to boot option now as you can see the usb boot is enabled if this is disabled make sure you choose it correctly and make it enable once these things is done it should be fine we shouldn't have any issue and also if the usb created correctly you're going to see into the boot drive available boot drive as you can see the top one is my usb device and second one is the network pxc network controller okay so pretty much that's all we're going to save we're going to save it by pressing f10 once we save it the system would automatically load the usb stick okay so we just need to wait we don't need to do anything it's going to load up now so sometimes it takes a couple of minutes okay now we are into the setup page let's say 
this page is not showing up by itself so what you should do pretty simple again press and hold to switch it off if it doesn't come up by itself we need to take that paper clip again and while it switch off click again once you click it's going to load up the noble button menu and from here we need to get into boot menu instead of bios hit enter as you can see now it shows two available options for boot so we're going to choose we're going to choose that one the usb stick if you hit enter it's going to load up again by the way it takes a couple of minutes to load up it depends on how fast is your usb how fast is your laptop okay it's loading up from here it's pretty simple by the way the trackpad wouldn't work so we can use any external mouse later on we can reinstall yeah now we can hit on next it's still now so from here we need to accept the terms and condition hit next and we need to choose the bottom option which is custom now you can able to see that one so i don't have any data if you do have any data make sure you back it up before we get into this section and mess about so we're going to delete this partition all right so now there is a single partition what i'm going to do i'm going to create two again so let's say four i'm going to make it two i'm going to hit enter apply so there is one two of them another one i'm going to create like new i would like to install windows in here so i'm going to do this in here hit next and now he's going to set up everything he's going to load up all the information into the main directory i need to do some updates finalize the settings and then should be done so let's check now as you can see the trackpad is not working why because there is no drivers okay so we can sort this out so first things we need to check how many drivers is not available so we're going to go to theme first things let me show you again right click into the empty space personalize from here theme from there we need to get into windows icon select all of them that you need apply it we can go in many different way we can go to manage now it's gonna load up and then from device manager we can see all of them if I zoom it we can see all of them comes question mark yeah explanation mark so it shows there is a problem with all the drivers so it's very simple what are you gonna do first things we're gonna connect into Wi-Fi let me put my password first PGB. right so I put my password here I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna connect into Wi-Fi it's connected I can see it says internet access now it's pretty simple we can do two two ways one we can do right click and do update drivers select the first option if it doesn't find no problem we can go to update drivers on windows update click here and it's going to take you directly to the windows update section which is that one and from here if you go check for updates it's going to check every single thing and it will up to date it once it updated everything will disappear from this section from this section to that section
okay now let's check this out and it would be done so pretty much that's all uh, thank you so much for watching still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section by the way as you can see it's downloading all the drivers okay Intel Corporation Intel Corporation different different one you know all of them are the drivers so it's gonna take a while there is nothing else to do once the driver up to date the trackpad will get back to work again and still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and I hope I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now Thanks.